Hello, hello, hello. It is I, and I have come back from the bookstore, where I go all the time, and we have gathered another book haul. <laughs> this one is nowhere near as big as the one that I did before, which was like nine or more books. This is five books, but I'm really pleased with them. Um, <clears throat> with the exception of just two of them, three of them add to a collection I already have going. So, uh, up here, those really shiny books, you've seen those before. Um, I have a little series, a playlist on here of folk tales, and we always pull from those because they're the epic tales collection. Well, in addition to the Epic Tales collection, which is like different cultural um, myths. So like we have the Norse myth book, we have the Irish myth book, we have the African book, the native book, we have a lot. Um, well, now I've bought something that's in the vein of that holographic bound series. Instead of the Epic Tales, it's classic tales or classic stories. So I bought... Hans Christian Andersen's Fairy Tales collection. Exciting. And then I bought the classic stories holographic hardcover of the Brothers Grimm um, Fairy Tales collection. And it's their full collection, so I'm so excited. Because um, I didn't own these, which is wild. And it, I didn't realize that I didn't own these until I saw them on the shelf today. I thought, oh my god, I don't own their fairy tales in any form, in any format, in any book. Which blew my mind that all this time I had never owned them. Like, it's just crazy. So anyway, I got those. And they were on sale. So excited. And then... <sighs> there is an editor named Jake Jackson who I have problems with. But I keep buying his books. So you've seen this as well in our folktale playlist. Um, I have the Scottish myth one, the Aztec one, the Irish one, the Arthurian one, uh, the Chinese one. I have several of those as well. And they're just smaller paperback uh, books that are very similar to this stuff. It's just collected folklore. I bought the Polynesian myth one. Very excited for that. Uh, very excited. I want to learn more about... Um, Oceana. So, excited. I think I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, coronavirus. Um, <laughs> so, I bought the Polynesian Island Myths. And again, this is edited by Jake Jackson, who... I just... I, ugh. But... But, I keep giving him money, so... <laughs> I can't complain about his editing skills too much. So, I'm very excited for this. Um, yeah, I want to learn more about, like, Maui. See, there's his hook. Maui, like, from Moana, you know? Um, excited for that. Because really the only stuff I've ever looked into with Hawaii is the book about Hawaiian magic by Scott Cunningham. So excited for that. But yeah, come on, great deal. These were, um, less than $10. So you can't complain about that. And this was, like, $5. So... And then I bought, hang my cats are being unruly. And then I bought um, Witchfinders, which is a 17th century English tragedy. And indeed it will be. This was also on sale. Um, I rarely buy books at full price. I pretty much always buy sale books. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a book that follows the true story of two guys, that's one of them, named Matthew Hopkins, who was a witch hunter in Essex, Essex, England, in the 17th century. And he and another person whose name I do not know, um, oh, John Stern, are kind of credited as being like the ones who helped start the whole witch hysteria, like witch hunting craze. Um, so 
this is going to be highly disturbing to read because this has actual true written documentation from the people they, the women that they arrested and accused of witchcraft. It has their official statements. And then in some cases in here, which I think is cool, but also disturbing and sad, it has written accounts of what the women themselves said about being accused of witchcraft before they were ultimately killed. So it's going to be depressing, but also interesting to read. So there's that. And then this is my most favorite find of the day. Diary of a Drug Fiend and other works by Aleister Crowley in a hardcover. So excited. It came with a uh, a sleeve, but I don't like those. I always take them off. So, um, so excited. Aleister Crowley, as you know, you've probably heard his name. Um, infamous, a uh, very controversial person in the craft. Um, I'm very excited for this though. He is so controversial. Yeah, see, there you go. <laughs> Diary of a drug fiend for reasons. <laughs> um, you know, he started the Thelema movement. If you're familiar with that form of magic use, that magical path. Um, he mixes, you know, Egyptian beliefs with Greek beliefs. Uh, and then a whole bunch of other stuff. He's fascinating. Fascinating individual. Um, but very controversial. Uh, very controversial. And not in, like, fun ways, necessarily, all the time. But I'm excited to read, a, to read this, because it's been a long time, a long time, since I've read anything actually authored by him. And I've never read his autobiography that he wrote of himself called Diary of a Drug Fiend. So, I I can't wait. I just can't wait to read this. It's going to be really good. Really good. Um, so I will definitely be reviewing this once, uh, once I finish it. I, oof, I'm... I'm really, really excited. And this was on sale as well, like I said, because the paperback is now out. So, whenever a paperback of something comes out, that's when usually the hardcovers go on sale. Just FYI, if you didn't know. So yeah, I thought that was a pretty good book haul. Pretty excited about it. <laughs> pretty excited about it. Really excited about it. I mean, look at that. Come on, that's awesome. That's awesome. And I'm all about get, like, getting money for your dollar. So, like, a $10 book that's that big, that's a great deal. That's a great deal. Because, like, his book by itself, um, like, the, before this went on sale, and I bought it for, like, $12, I think, today, um, it was, like, $40 or more. So, shop smart. But yes, just wanted to show you those because I always like watching people like seeing what they buy. But yeah, we will definitely be reading from these in our folklore collection that we've been doing. I encourage you to go check those videos out. And then I will definitely be making a whole video about Aleister Crowley. And we will talk about this, probably mostly just his autobiography. I'll make a video about that. And then I'll probably go off in that and talk about a little bit about him and his impact on modern paganism and why he's so controversial. That'll be like a whole thing because there's a lot to talk about with him. Um, he died in like 1945. So he died before Gerald Gardner even published um, his witchcraft book. But fascinating character. Fascinating. Um, and then I will probably also make a video about this if it's not too disturbing. <laughs> So, wish me luck on not having nightmares. Um, but yeah, that's what I bought. So I thought I would share. Peace and goodbye.